Did you know that some plants have developed a taste for meat? Yes, you heard it right, meat-eating plants, isn't it fascinating? Now, before you imagine a Venus flytrap chomping on a steak, let's clarify. These plants don't feast on cows or chickens, but they do have a penchant for insects, spiders, and sometimes even small frogs. Carnivorous plants are nature's incredible response to a challenging environment. They've evolved in places where the soil is poor in nutrients, particularly nitrogen, which is crucial for plant growth. So, how do they supplement their diet? By turning into sly predators. These plants have adopted unique trapping mechanisms like sticky surfaces, elaborate pitfalls, and lightning-fast snaps to capture and digest their unsuspecting prey. This clever adaptation not only ensures their survival in unforgiving terrains, but also adds a dash of deadly allure to their existence. Let's dive into the world of these deadly predators of the plant kingdom. I counting down from 10, let's start with the most famous carnivorous plant, the Venus flytrap. This intriguing plant has a rather ingenious way of trapping its prey. It possesses two hinged lobes at the end of each leaf, which snap shut in the blink of an eye when an unsuspecting insect lands on it. Tiny hair-like sensors on the inner surface of the lobes detect the movement and trigger the trap. Once the prey is securely inside, the plant's digestion process begins. Enzymes secreted by the plant slowly break down the insect, absorbing its nutrients over a period of about a week. It's a slow but sure death for the insect, and a vital source of nourishment for the plant. The Venus flytrap is native to the subtropical wetlands on the east coast of the United States. It thrives in poor, acidic soil, a testament to its adaptability and resilience. This plant is a true marvel of nature, isn't it? At number 9, we have the pitcher plant, a deceptive killer. This elegant trickster comes in various types, each with its unique allure. Whether it's the North American Saracenia, the Asian Nepenthes, or the Australian Cephalotus, they all share a common lethal trait, their pitfall trap. Imagine a leaf, evolved into a deep, slippery cavity filled with digestive fluid. The plant's vibrant colors and sweet nectar attract unsuspecting insects. Once the prey steps on the slippery rim, it's a one-way slide into the plant's deadly cocktail. This is not a quick demise. The trapped insect struggles, but the more it moves, the more it sinks. Over time, the pitcher plant's enzymes slowly digest the victim, absorbing the nutrients to fuel the plant's growth. So, while we marvel at the pitcher plant's stunning appearance and ingenious trap, let's not forget its dark side. Indeed, the pitcher plant is a beautiful but deadly trap. Number 8 on our list brings us to the sticky and deadly sundew. This captivating plant takes a more passive approach to ensnaring its prey, but don't be fooled by its seeming tranquility. The sundew's tentacles, unlike those of a sea creature, are covered in a glistening sticky substance that gives the plant its dew-kissed appearance. But this is no ordinary dew. It's a sticky trap that unsuspecting insects find irresistible. Once an insect lands on the sundew, it becomes ensnared in this sticky substance, unable to escape. The more the insect struggles, the more entangled it becomes, sealing its fate. But the sundew's savagery doesn't stop there. Once the insect is trapped, the plant's tentacles slowly curl around its prey, smothering it. The sundew then releases enzymes to break down the insect, absorbing the nutrients directly into its tentacles. A slow and sinister death indeed. The sundew is an incredibly adaptive and deadly plant. Next up on our countdown at number 7 is the underwater assassin, the bladderwort. This fascinating plant has adapted to life beneath the surface in a truly unique way. The bladderwort's home is underwater in ponds and lakes where it floats freely, a world away from the soil-based existence of most plants. Its secret weapon? A complex suction trap mechanism that's a marvel of natural engineering. When unsuspecting aquatic insects, larvae, or even tiny tadpoles brush against trigger hairs on the plant, the bladderwort springs into action. It rapidly inflates its bladder-like trap, sucking in water and the unfortunate critter. But the bladderwort doesn't stop there. Inside the trap, enzymes get to work, breaking down the captured prey and absorbing the nutrients to fuel the plant's growth. This process of digestion can take anywhere from a few hours to a couple of days, depending on the size of the meal. The bladderwort, a plant that has truly mastered the art of underwater hunting. At number six, we have the butterwort, a plant that uses its sticky leaves to trap its prey. Now, butterworts are not your average plants. They possess what's known as a flypaper trap. Their leaves produce a sticky, dew-like substance that unsuspecting insects find irresistible. 
Once an insect lands on the butterwort, it's game over. The plant's sticky secretion not only traps the insect, but also begins the digestion process. The butterwort's enzymes break down the insect, absorbing nutrients directly into the leaf. This process can take anywhere from a few hours to several days, depending on the size of the prey. Found in a variety of habitats, from the subtropical forests of Central and South America to the Arctic tundra, the butterwort has adapted to thrive in nutrient-poor soils across the globe. So, next time you're out in nature, keep an eye out for these silent predators. The butterwort, a silent and deadly predator. Number five brings us to the cobra lily, a plant that uses deception as its weapon. Native to the cool, foggy climates of North America's Pacific coast, this carnivorous plant employs a unique trap mechanism to ensnare its prey. Unlike other carnivorous plants that use sticky surfaces or quick movements, the cobra lily lures insects into its hollow, twisted leaf with a sweet aroma. Once inside, the prey is disoriented by light spots and downward-pointing hairs, preventing it from escaping. The cobra lily's digestive process is equally fascinating. It doesn't produce its own digestive enzymes. Instead, it relies on a symbiotic relationship with bacteria. The bacteria break down the trapped insects, and the cobra lily absorbs the nutrients released in this process. This clever adaptation allows the cobra lily to thrive in nutrient-poor soils where other plants may struggle. The cobra lily, a master of deception and death. At number four, we have the tropical pitcher plant, another deadly pitfall trap. This remarkable plant, found in the lush tropics, uses its vibrant cup-shaped leaves to lure unsuspecting insects into its deadly grasp. These leaves are not just attractive, but also slippery, causing the insects to slide into the plant's pitcher. But the real horror begins once the insects are trapped inside. The plant releases digestive enzymes, similar to those found in our own stomachs, to break down its prey. Over the course of several days, the insect is reduced to a nutrient-rich soup, which the plant absorbs to supplement its diet. Interestingly, the tropical pitcher plant doesn't just rely on insects. It's known to consume larger prey as well, including spiders, centipedes, and even small rodents. However, this doesn't make it any less appealing to the eye. With its vibrant red, green, or even purple pitchers, it's a truly captivating sight. The tropical pitcher plant, a deadly beauty of the tropics. Number three on our list is the waterwheel plant, a plant that takes carnivory to the water. The waterwheel plant, or Aldrovanda vesiculosa if we're being formal, is an aquatic wonder. Its name is a nod to its unique structure which resembles a ferris wheel or water wheel, comprised of whirls of snap traps. Now let's talk about its snap trap mechanism. This fascinating plant has a series of traps along its stem, each with a mouth-like structure that snaps shut when triggered by prey. Imagine this. A tiny aquatic insect touches the sensitive hairs inside the trap, and in a fraction of a second, it's game over. The trap snaps shut, enclosing the unsuspecting victim within. Following the quick capture, the digestion process begins. The plant releases enzymes that break down the prey, absorbing the nutrients to sustain its growth. The waterwheel plant is predominantly found in Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia, thriving in acidic waters with low nutrient content. The waterwheel plant, a true marvel of underwater predation. At number two, we have the dewy pine, a plant that uses its sticky leaves to ensnare its prey. This fascinating species, also known as Drosophyllum lusitanicum, is native to the Mediterranean region and has a unique approach to securing its meals. Unlike other carnivorous plants that utilize movement or structural traps, the dewy pine relies on a sticky substance that coats its slender, needle-like leaves. This adhesive is so potent that even the smallest insects find it impossible to escape once they've made contact. But the dewy pine strategy doesn't stop there. Once an insect is trapped, the plant secretes enzymes that slowly break down the prey, absorbing the nutrients directly through its leaves. This process, although gruesome, is a testimony to the plant's ingenious survival strategy in nutrient-poor soils. This carnivorous plant thrives primarily in sunny, open habitats, such as heathlands and rocky slopes, where it can maximize its exposure to unsuspecting insects. The dewy pine, a sticky end for any unfortunate insects. And finally, at number one, we have the deadly Albany pitcher plant. Let's delve into the fascinating world of this carnivorous plant. The Albany pitcher plant, or Cephalotus follicularis, is a native of southwestern Australia. It employs a pitfall trap, a hollow pitcher-like structure filled with a cocktail of digestive enzymes. 
These pitchers lure, trap, and digest insects that dare to venture too close. The process is as intriguing as it is deadly. An unsuspecting insect is attracted by the sweet nectar of the plant. Upon landing on the slippery rim, it loses footing and falls into the pitcher's lethal brew. There, the plant's enzymes break down the insect, turning it into nutrients to feed the plant. Its habitat is just as absorbing. The Albany pitcher plant thrives in peaty, waterlogged soils, bogs, and even cliff faces. It's a testament to nature's adaptability and survival instincts. The Albany pitcher plant, the deadliest of them all.